hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we are going to set up a potena community edition behind uh, traffic reverse proxy uh what is potena uh, potena is a container management tool that is used to deploy and manage containerized uh, applications and services so let's jump right into it uh what do we need to deploy uh, potena so before we begin uh we need to have docker and docker compose installed if you don't have those two installed uh you can uh, go and uh, uh, watch my other video on how to set up docker and docker compose the link to the video is down on the description then the second thing we need to have is a domain name and the last thing you need to have is a reverse proxy in our setup we're using traffic which you already set up in the previous video it's already running and again if you don't have it set up yet check out my other video the link is on the description where i walk you through how to set it up so let's go ahead and start setting up a container so as you can see i'm logged into my server and uh, this is the directory where I keep all my containers so I'm going to create a, a directory and this directory will be called uh, container as you can see I have the directory already created so I'll cd into container I'll do I'll make another directory in there uh, and this is data where this will be our volume for container and with that done let's go ahead now and uh, create the docker compost yaml file so to create the yaml file I'm going on the directory and I can click on create new file i'm going to give it the name of uh, docker compose.yaml and now this is the file so i'm going to paste in uh, the configurations i'll be using so here is the configuration so i'm uh, starting a service the service name is potena i'm pulling the image potena c there is a potena b if you check on the potena website the b is for business and it's a paid version but for us we're going to use the community edition i'm going to give the, my container container name potena i'm also going to say restart and let's stop and for security no new privileges assigned to it then i'm using a network web this is the name of my network which is externally accessible and it's a traffic uh, network and uh, once i connect to this network i'll be able to use traffic um if you're not going to use labels if you want to use a potato without uh, traffic go ahead and uncomment the port so that you can access it under uh, the ip address of your server then uh, full colon and then the port for potato but in my case i don't need the ports that's why they are recommended there now for the volumes um, i got the local time i'm also having the docker sockets so that it can read uh, the other docker containers first i'm enabling traffic setting it to true then uh, i have my entry point which is http which will be also re be redirected to https then here is my potato url that we'll be using so go ahead and change this to whatever fully qualified domain you have given to your potato and it's pointing to put nine dollars again i have a label for the network again i'm also putting again the network and marking it uh, as external and that's all you need to set up for on your docker compose so go ahead and save this so on this config the only thing you need to change is your network name your url which is potato pointing to whatever url you have if you have your network called the web then you have nothing else to change so now let's go ahead and uh, deploy this container and see what we got so to deploy this container you're using docker compose app dash d i have an error let's let me go ahead and check this one also as you can see uh i have my docker compose file saved on data directory so i need to copy it back to the container okay let me do that i'm going to use the move command to move uh, the docker compose file to container directory and as you can see if i do ls i should have docker compose in here so now i can go ahead and do docker compose dash up dash d and uh, it's going to take a few seconds to pull up the image and start up so let's wait and it's all done so with that done uh if you remember our url to be potato.com potato.local.com we need to go ahead and access that on the browser and as you can see i'm able to access it and if you look at the certificate it's already connecting to a secure and if you go ahead and look at the certificate is verified by let's encrypt you can also go to more and see it's less encrypt uh, and the connection is encrypted so we are good up to that point and now we need to go ahead and set up our admin user uh, you can go ahead with admin or uh, user any other user for me I normally finish uh, the name I normally use administrator and for the password make sure to create a strong password let me bring in my password in here and uh, create user and as you can see uh, we are in the container um, I'm going to get started using local I don't have any other instance of uh, 
uh, docker hosts so i'll be using uh, the local instance of this docker host and as you can see i already have uh, three containers on let's go ahead and check what containers are those we have the nginx that we're using to test it's under test attack and now we have the container itself and the trap and if you go to networks as you can see i have my web network which is being used by traffic so any container i connect to the web network it will be accessible by traffic with that said you are good to go so you can also secure uh your container setup uh the socket the docker socket instead of using the docker socket you can go ahead and use uh, a docker socket proxy instead of exposing the docker socket directly and uh let me know in the comments below if you want us uh, if you want me to make a video on that and uh, that's it you know our container running behind traffic with the uh, https uh, ssl certificate so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell so that you never miss another video if you got any questions drop them in the comments i will answer everyone that's it until next time stay curious stay self-hosted peace